Zach, just first off, um, just want to ask you, what was your experience watching this movie? What was it like for you when you first watched this? Terminator 2, you know, this, this is a movie that it, that I saw probably way too young, I guess. I mean, I must have been like, I don't know, six years old or something. And my parents had taped it off TV. And I just I remember watching this all the time when I was a kid. And I never saw the first one until I was older, which is interesting. <laughs> but I never felt like I was missing anything either, because I felt like this movie kind of explains everything you need to know. And you know, I used to have a joke with some friends like they call it Terminator 2 because there's two Terminators. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like if this was the right. only movie, right? You know, so I think it totally works on that front. But yeah, I mean, this is one I I, well, I love this movie as a kid. And, you know, when you're a kid, you kind of this is one of the rare movies with a kid in it, where I think when you're a kid, you put yourself in the place of the kid. You want to be John Connor, right? As messed up of his life is like you put yourself in that spot and you're like, oh, man, like I, that's one of the saddest endings ever of this movie, especially when you're a kid and you think about, you know, losing somebody like the Terminator in your life, right? To what he was to John Connor. So I think that's why. It's it stuck to me so much as as a kid. Maybe it is okay to show this to your kids. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite movies. It's probably one of the movies I've seen more than any movie ever, and is definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. 